Hi guys, how are you all doing? I hope you all are doing fine wherever you are. If you're watching for the first time, then I'm Pratibha and welcome to my channel where we learn makeup and hairstyle every Tuesday and Friday. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to tell you about the brushes, which brush you have to use for that perfect flawless makeup. So without any further delay, let's get started. So guys, the first that we'll be seeing now is dual brush. So what does this dual brush mean? Dual brush are the brushes which can be used to blend all the liquid products on our face like cream products, moisturizers, primers, oils. If you don't want to blend it with your fingers, you have to use a dual brush. This is a dual fiber brush guys. It will be a little bit of white here and very light bristles it has. So you can blend all the oil products that is moisturizer, oils and creams and everything with these like this dual fiber brush. Once we apply primer, moisturizers and what we do next is we correct the correction flaws. on our face. So which brush you have to use for correction and concealing that I'll be telling you now. Applying corrector and concealer you can use like this tight brushes. Okay. So you have to, you cannot swipe your correctors like this, right? If you don't know how to apply corrector, concealer on your face, guys, then watch this video. I have explained everything in detail in this video. So you have to just tap, 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 tap the corrector. So you can use like this tight brushes for concealer. Next, after applying correction, concealer, what we apply is we apply foundation. There are two brushes for applying foundation. One is this flat brush and one is this kabuki brush. Now, which brush you have to use that you have to think. So if you have dry skin, if you do not have open pores or anything, then you can use this flat brush, okay, to blend the foundation. But if you have oily skin, if you have open pores and all, then you have to use this kabuki dense brush, guys, to tap, 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 so that your foundation goes inside your pores and it looks good. For oily skin, you have to use kabuki brush. For dry skin, you have to use flat brush. Next is beauty blender, guys. You can use this beauty blenders to blend concealers, foundations and everything. If you don't want to invest in brushes, that's okay. For any skin type, you can use blenders. And this is the powder brush. It's little round and little fluffy. So you can use apply powder. So the brushes that I am using are doe color brushes guys. You can use doe color, you can use pack brushes, pack has good, you can use beauty lashes. I'll give all the links down, you can check it. Now when you see the brushes, you'll come to know, okay, so this is a dual fiber, this is a concealer brush, this is for foundation, this is a powder brush. Now you can identify very easy. After applying powder, what we apply? We apply powder contour, we apply blush, we apply highlighter. So for contouring, any brush that has like this angle, you're contouring below your cheeks like this, near your jawline, your forehead and everything, these angle brushes are very nice. Blush brushes are like this fluffy brushes. If you can see, you can apply nicely in the apple of your cheeks. So this is your apple of your cheeks. Here you have to apply nicely. So this fluffy round big brushes can be used for blush. For highlighter, you can use like this pointed brushes okay because highlighter you have to apply here on the cheekbones okay so here you have to use this highlighter so brush. you can use this brush or you can use a fan brush anything i hope brush. now face brush like for face makeup whatever brushes you need i've told about that now we'll move on to eye makeup so guys brush. for eye makeup you need a blending brush you need a, need a smudge brush shadow brush sponge brush cut crease brush and eyeliner brush i'll show you now one by blending one blending brush so whenever you apply color on the crease, okay, you need a blending brush. So this is the blending brush. You can use pack 050. That is the amazing blending brush you can. And you can also use this BH Cosmetics brushes, guys. I'm using it for like many, many years now. And they're amazing. No shedding, nothing. It's amazing. You can use these brushes. And this is the MAC 217 blending brush. You can use any one you want. Pack 050 is also very good blending brush. So you can use these. These are the blending brushes. So blending brush are a little bit round and a little bit fluffy. Okay. So it goes in the crease and it buffs out the color and looks nice. So this is one. Now next is guys smudge. Smudging. You can use this pencil brush for smudging your eyeliner. But if you don't want to buy this pencil brushes, you can just invest in this shadow packing brush. So you can also pack the shadow on the lid. So whichever lid colors we pack we have to use the shadow packing brush because if we use our blending brush to pack the color the intensity won't be that great okay so if you use brushes the intensity will be amazing and will look very nice so you can use this shadow packing brush this brush can also be used for smudging the eyeliner so you can just use this one brush even if you don't use this brush that's okay so just one brush will be enough 
The next is the shadow packing brush I showed you. The sponge brush. So guys, whenever you apply shimmers on your eyelids and all, you can either use your finger, ring finger, or you can use like the sponge brushes, okay? They are very nice and it packs the shimmers very nice. There won't be any fallout and it will be very good. The next is the cut crease brush. Like when you want to do a cut crease look, you want to cut the crease, that time you need like this small defined brushes, which are like very nice and you know, you can cut your crease nicely. Like this tight brushes, small one. Or you can use like this one. But this is good for like below the eyebrow when you are applying concealer for that, this is good. But for cut crease, I'll recommend you like this brush. This is nice. eyeliner brush. Eyeliner brush is a thin liner brush, like this thin. So you can apply eyeliner nicely. If you buy Maybelline gel eyeliner, you'll get an eyeliner brush with that. You don't have to again buy any separate eyeliner brush, even that will work. So these are the eye makeup brushes I've told you all. This, you just need an eyebrow brush and a lip liner brush. For your lips, you just need a lip liner brush and for your eyebrows, you need an eyebrow brush. You use like this angle brush. This can be also used to apply eyeliner. Even this works good for applying eyeliner, for your inner core liner, everything this works good. And this is the spoolie behind it so that you can blend your eyebrows once you apply this. So this is nice. Okay. If you don't want to invest in this eyebrow brushes, then guys, just buy an eyebrow pencil, even that will work. But if you're going for a gel, you need like this angle brushes to apply that gel. So this is good. And next is the lip brush. You can also use this angle brush for your lip lining also. Even that will work. Or you can buy like this lip brushes. So this is the one that I got with the Anastasia lip palette. But if you buy a lip palette, you'll get a lip brush with that. Or if you want, you can buy it. Or you can use like this angle brushes for your lipstick and all. So these are about all the brushes, guys. I hope now all the doubts and everything are cleared. Now you know by seeing only you can identify which brush is used for what. And you can buy now nicely and you can invest your money properly. So I hope you like this video. If you like it, then please don't forget to hit the like, share and subscribe button and also hit the bell button so you get notified whenever i upload a new video I'll see you all in my next video till then bye and take care